Okay, welcome to the short flow lab series. Today we're going to create a heart that will add value, add health to your main protagonist. Here's my protagonist, my little kitty. First thing I want to do is we're going to create a heart. So you go ahead and I'll start over. First thing I want to do is create a new sprite. Name this heart. And go ahead and go to physics unclick as solid and then i'm going to go ahead and click enable collisions go back to properties got behaviors i'm going to add a collision trigger i'm going to click on it change where it says any type i'm going to go ahead and change that to player next i need a destroyer so i'm going to go ahead and go to components click on the red x destroyer click ok click edit sprite now i'm going to go ahead and browse go ahead and change it to a heart yours would be in select category objects and then find your heart and go ahead and hit play boom and that'll disappear. So I've got that. That's good. Next, I need to go into my main sprite and then go into behaviors. Now I'm going to assume that you already have your uh, your health line set up, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do it quickly. So your health line will probably look like you have a collision. So let's say it's collision and you had spikes. I don't have anything bad created, so I'm just going to go ahead. And then you'd have two numbers. Number, number. And every time that hit your spike or whatever, it would give you minus one. And let's say you had your total health starting at three. That's what it would look like. And then... In past videos, I showed you to do a reset. So you got uh, less than one, which means e you could you could do equal to zero. You know, there's multiple ways to code, and then you'd have a game flow restart game. So you you should already have this on your main character. This is what it would look like. Again, this would probably say uh, fire or something, right, or spike. I don't have that created on this training lab. To do the heart, you now need to do another collision. So this will be the new part. So you need a trigger collision. You're going to change that collision to your heart. I, this is why you don't create the same thing twice. I'm going to assume that it's that second one. If not, I'll have to go back and change that. Uh, actually, well, I want to go ahead and do this right now. Just to make sure for the video, uh, go back into my behaviors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and heart real. That was the right one. There we go. And now I need a number block under logic and math. So for this one, this is going to say I'm going to add add one. Now don't change that to one when you have it at zero. It will automatically add one. If you change that to one, it would actually add two. And I'm going to add that to that block. So every time I would hit that, I'm going to add to this value. Now I don't have the health meter all created on the board, so I'm going to hit play here. And you can see that it. Go ahead and put that down. Whenever it collides with that, it's going to add one. All right, so uh, I was wondering why that was going down instead of up, and it's because I have collision on any. So really, any time he, my cat walks on, you see how it's going down. So um, essentially, I would need to make sure that that was actually switched. So let's go ahead and get that off. 
ground and hit stop play and you'll see it you see how it added one to the health so that's all that was the problem was just that I had that selected to any but you would have already had that switched to a spike or fire or something so uh, to go back you have collision collide with the heart hit the plus that adds one and then you set that to your initial health life and most of us have it set for three uh, there you have it